To use the technical term, this video is about how to get a buttload of work done. Now, the definition of a standard buttload has been in dispute for years, but regardless, if you're watching this video, you probably feel like you have that resting on your shoulders. So as somebody who went from being an overly involved college student straight into being an overly idea-laden content creator, entrepreneur, whatever you wanna call me, I feel like I always have a lot of work resting on my shoulders, and I tend to get a lot of it done, which leads to the question I get emailed often, how do you get so much work done? Well, let's uh, move back a little bit first into this perception of how much work we have to do. When people ask us how we're doing, what's the answer we usually give them? That's right. It's usually, uh, I'm just so busy. The word busy is just so commonly uttered from our mouths. And I want to challenge you on this assumption. What does busy really mean? Now, for all the crap he gets, Thomas Edison actually said something pretty smart on this subject. And I'm going to read it off my phone real quick because I didn't memorize it. Being busy does not mean real work. The object of all work is production or accomplishment, and to either of these ends there must be forethought, system, planning, intelligence, and honest purpose, as well as perspiration. Seeming to do is not doing. Now that's something you should really take to heart. How much of your time is seeming to do, and how much of it is actually spent doing and getting real things accomplished, producing real work of real value? For the past few months, it seems like I've actually been able to produce a lot more work than I used to in the past. And if I look through the archives on my blog, it seems like for a couple of years, I was only putting out maybe five things a month at most. Now I'm creating videos almost every week. I'm doing my podcast every week, blog posts, episodes of Listen Money Matters, another podcast I'm a part of, and I wrote a book in a few months, which just came out a couple of weeks ago. So how was I able to increase this output and go from just being busy all the time and feeling sorry for myself about how much work I had on my shoulders to actually getting things done? Well, to be honest, I could attribute this to a lot of factors, motivation, habits, planning, time management, task management, efficiency, delegation, hiring people. There's all sorts of things that go into getting work done on top of the just the simple discipline of sitting down and working. And I could devote videos to every single one of these topics, and many of them will get videos in the future. But the topic I want to focus on in this video is the act of planning, specifically daily planning. What we want to get away from here is this feeling of being busy and not actually getting a whole lot done, not really focusing on any specific task you have to do. And you're probably familiar with some of the common cases where this happens. You're in the library, you've got all your material out in front of you, but you don't really know which thing you should study, so now you're on Facebook. Daily planning alleviates this problem, because if you do it right, you know exactly what you should be doing at any given time. For instance, my morning routine is a form of a daily plan. The moment I wake up in the morning, I know exactly what I need to do. I need to come to my apartment, I need to turn off my wake up alarm that I talked about in another video, and then I need to immediately meditate, go into my 7 minute workout, go for a walk, make breakfast, read books, etc. I know exactly what I need to do, and as a result, I do it. So morning routines are incredibly important, but I wanna talk about the actual daily plan that encompasses your specific tasks that you need to get done. Whenever I get a new task that needs to be done at some point in time, it goes straight into Todoist. And Todoist is the to-do app of choice that I use. There are a lot others out there, but it's the first point of contact for any task I have. It is not the only place where tasks end up living in my system. On Sundays, I create a weekly plan in a paper notebook, really simple, and write down exactly what I want to accomplish that week. Then, when I wake up in the morning and go through my morning routine, I have a habit, which is to just simply create a daily plan. So on that whiteboard right over there, I write my daily plan every single morning, and I put the day of the week at the top, and then I write down the six to seven, maybe eight, if I'm feeling really productive that day, things that I need to get done. And I don't stop there, though. I try to estimate when each task should be done by. So I'll put a dash and then I'll put the time. When I'm estimating these times, I try to take into account a fudge ratio. And this is a concept I wrote about in my book. And basically it's taking the time I estimate to get things done and applying a little bit of a buffer to it because we are very bad at planning for things that go wrong. We're very bad at planning for inefficiencies and we tend to take the best uh, best case scenario as a guess for when we estimate times. So now that I have this daily plan, I have a list of tasks in the order that I need to do them. I have an estimate for the time that each one should be done. And now I know at any given time what I should be doing. Once I'm done with my morning routine, I jump right into the first one and try as best as I can to get it done by the time I estimated. 
Seeing it right on the board next to me reminds me that that's what I should be working on. I don't let myself get distracted by other things. Now, that's not to say that I'm absolutely perfect about getting the list done every day, but combined with other productivity techniques that I apply to my life, like habit tracking and commitment devices and the Pomodoro technique and things like that, it's actually really effective. And my output has gone from here to here. I'm not exactly sure what those are, but there's a gap. So the lesson is clear here. If you want to get a lot of things done, you need to plan your day out in advance and then stick to that plan. Doing so will let you know what to focus on on any given moment, and you'll spend a lot less time feeling busy but not getting much work done. So thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Well, hello there, and thanks for watching my video on getting massive loads of work done with daily plans. Now, if you want to learn more about effective planning, I wrote an entire chapter about it in my free book on earning awesome grades, and you can get your own copy by clicking the picture of the book right there. If you want to get more videos every single week on being an awesome college student, studying better, building habits, and whatnot, then click that big red subscribe button. And you can also find a summary and links to anything I talked about in this video by going to the companion blog post, which you can find by clicking the orange button right there. If you missed my last video, there's a clip of it playing right there. And lastly, if you want to suggest topics for new videos or connect with me, you can either follow me on Twitter at Tom Frankly or just leave a comment on this video. See you in the next one.